Holy crap, dude, I just got inspired. If you watched my last live, you know I'm out of topics, but hey, we just got one. If you haven't seen Birdman's last video, go check it out. So many gems, right? And some might think it's all over the place, but that's how it is, man. That's how it is. When you're clean, when you're sober, your mind's all over the place, man, because we want so much for ourselves. We have to relearn how to live again. I'm not saying that's his situation, but I'm just speaking for myself because that's that's how it is, man. Just got pumped, man. So let me get this situated. I'll be back. Don't judge me. Forgot to bring my hangers from home. So yeah, so we're doing it, man. We are doing it. Welcome back to Ghetto Productions. We are back, dude. We are back. So yeah, I was just watching Birdman's last video and he was spitting facts. There's so many gems within that video. I've said it before in other videos. I relate to damn near everything he says. You know, we're, we're totally different people, obviously. We grew up on separate sides of the country. I'm out here on the west, southwest. He's out there up on the east. He grew up on the east. I don't know where he is now, like Hillbilly Bill or some shit, but I'm not calling you Hillbilly, but you know what I mean. So a particular part of the video, I got inspired to speak about obsession. When we were in rehab, we were envisioning the outside. I had no idea I was gonna be doing this. My plan was to become a recovery support specialist and hopefully work at the treatment center I was at. That didn't work out, but I got a job at a rehab. So the number one thing that triggered this video is obsession, right? Obsession. I kind of spoke on, you know, how my addiction correlates with my recovery, you know, certain things, certain aspects about it. When I was in treatment, man, like I was living outside of my head, you know, I was already preparing for when I got out. I had four months to do that. So I took care of so much as I could in there, right? Just to make things easier on the outside and it worked. It really worked. So obsession, right? I was obsessed with devising the greatest plan, the greatest plan for myself. It was a short-term goal, short-term plan, because I had no idea. I had no idea what I was gonna be getting myself into. When I get out of rehab, that's when life started for me, right? When I was in rehab, you know, I was kind of like a, an incubator, right? I just had to, I had to, prepare a plan for myself. Normally in rehab, I was already envisioning a relapse. I already had my mind made up. You know, I'm just gonna kick it in rehab and work the program, right? I worked it as best as I could. I always did good. I put up a solid front in there. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be fine. Everybody in rehab was like, yeah, he's gonna make it. I'm not talking about the last rehab, but in other rehabs where I had my mind made up on relapsing, I did. So in regards to being newly sober, newly clean, right? What was working for me is obsession, right? I had to find something that I could fall back in love with. I had to, you know, there were so many things I wanted to do because I was feeling so good. That right there is a crucial point in recovery <laughs> because one false move, one false step, that could be a wrap, man. Like all that pressure, all that newly found pressure that we put on ourselves due to what we want to do, you know, that could be overwhelming. That could make us just stop everything because we're focused on certain things, right? What's working for me now is obsessing on business, obsessing on myself, obsessing on routine. I need routine. If not, I'm gonna be all over the place. I'm still all over the place in here, but that's just how I am. You know, I filter through thoughts and, and things I wanna do, plans, goals, right? So the obsession and routine 
is what's helping me forward, what's keeping me going. Of course, I'm not where I want to be, but I'm still going. Complacency spoke on, spoke on it before. That was a huge problem of mine. Just getting overconfident, right? Cocky. One day deciding, yeah, I, I'm working hard. Let me uh, treat myself. When I say treat myself, that means break out the foil, right? Hashtag loyal to the foil. All the good I was doing in life just came to a halt. And my main focus, my main obsession, my main routine was getting high again. So, as you guys know, I like providing value as much as I can, right? I'm not in this for the money. Since I've been doing YouTube, YouTube has kind of became an obsession too. So I had to take a step back, calm down on the videos, recenter, recenter on this. So that's what's up with YouTube. The moral of this, this video right here is obsession, man. If you're newly sober or if you feel like you're going nowhere in life, this isn't only for addicts, man. Try to find something that attracts your attention, that makes you happy. There's things I need to tighten up and within due time, they will be tightened up, but that's how it is. That's life, you know, that's life. I can't stress about the things I don't have or the things I'm not doing. I just have to do it, devise a plan, you know. Sure, devising a plan like for long-term, long-term goals, those are good too, right? Just having that overall perspective on the direction you wanna go. Obviously, that's a plus, right? But it all starts short-term, it all starts now. It all starts today. What's working for me is obsessing over success, really. So many things, pleasing people, making people happy. So, take what you will out of this one. Just find something where you could get purpose out of. That's the message of the day. Find purpose. Find yourself some purpose. Get off your ass and make your bed. Thanks for listening.